Hello, people. Uh, this is Mr. GG. Um, if you don't know what this what if is, it is what if Deku was a conduit. Um, quick little thing. I will not be constantly following the normal. Uh, what is it? Um, normal. Um, normal, 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 normal storyline. Sorry, I'm going off my head here. I got no script or anything. This world will be based on the legend of Colin McGrath. Deku will be having. <laughs> yeah, I went on. Ah, Aussie. Um, please try and ignore the notifications. I could turn them off, but I don't feel like it. The Legends of Cole McGrath and Delson Van Roo. Now, Deku will be having Delson Van Roo's powers with Mick, with Delson Van Roo's powers. Mainly being, Delson is going to be Deku's father in this. Um, his mom's still going to be Inko, but in this her name's going to be Inko Ro. I think that's his last name, I can't remember. Um, so, what I'm getting at is the legend of Comic Grab and Galson are... Uh, is pretty well known in the world, but about two to three hundred years later, the legends have stopped. If you're wondering why I'm doing it around this time, um, mainly being because, uh, Delson's eventually gotten a conduit power that lets him stop aging after a while. There will be quirks in this world and the conduit gene. However, conduits are very, very little. Around 2 to 1% of the world are known for conduit powers. And this way, the only way for a conduit to get its powers is through a race sphere. If you don't know what that is, please go watch or play Infamous 1 and 2. Alright. And I'll start doing a little bit of the explaining of it. Because I'm... I know a little. I am fully... I don't remember all of it. I played, like... I did complete the infamous games. But I completely forgot. It's been a while. Um, a race sphere basically... Is a... Thing that activates a specific gene in the body. The conduit gene. But the way it does that is through... Massive amounts of radiation and... It's not pretty. Um, if you got the time, go look it up. Um, cause I remember it happening in around in the first one, and it costs it killed all, a lot of people in how it's done, how it started. Um, don't know how long this video is gonna be. <laughs> I'll try and make it as long as possible, but I don't know how long. And if stuff happens, I'll just edit it out through my phone. If I get notifications, I'm sorry about that. I could turn them off, but I won't. Anyway, um, how am I going to start this off? I guess just about... After how... I'll start after the Infinite Second Sun game. The... Um, oh, and I will be ingrading the karma system into this. So you got the good karma, the bad karma. Um, this will be my villain version. 
So you know how Delson and Cole McGrath have the good side or the bad side. This will be the villain side of things. So he'll be getting all the bad karma. The evil karma. Not bad karma. Um, this. Left side good, bad side bad. Oop, please ignore them. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah. Uh, how did the end of the last one end? Uh, right. You kill... So, story time. Uh, the end of... Once Cole McGrath and his crew had ended... The police force on tracking down conduits and locking up into prison. Um, he kills the head of the conduit police force and now starts opening up the prison. It's been two to three hundred years later. And around about this time, uh, conduits have started to die off from people's, from people just being paranoid and killing people on the fly. no matter if the person started to get the conduit powers or they've already got them. Uh, around this time, people have forgotten the conduits. So... They've forgotten all about Del Sandra and Rowe, Cole McGrath, and Del Sandra's friends. Um, during this time, Del Sandra has moved to Japan to let the world die down of these conduits. However, his plan doesn't fully work out. Conduits start dying left and right because of the beginning of quirks. And people with quirks start thinking, oh, conduits are bad. They're the people who did all this stuff. They start getting more powerful and they start killing other conduits. And this does piss Delson off, but he knows he can't do anything without exposing himself and then potentially dying or getting thrown into prison. Because they do throw some conduits into prison because of how powerful they are. The ones that got thrown back into prison are Delson's friends. So the one with neon, video... Um, yeah, those two. Those are his companions. His friends. Delson does learn of this, but he can't do anything, and they know this. Even with all Delson's power, powers, uh, he can't do anything. He can't. Because in this timeline, conduits age slower. They age slower so they aren't described as normal people or people with quirks. And two, three hundred years later, Delson saves a girl named Inko Midoriya. Inko. I don't know her proper last name. In this, she'll be just be Midoriya. Because she's not married. 
in this one. She sa- he saves her from... A collapsing building. She thinks he's a conduit, but he just writes it off as his quirk. Because that's how he's gotten past through these two to three hundred years later. Um... power he used was concrete manipulation. No. Smoke. He uses smoke. She's like... To save her. If you're wondering how, he'll just tackle her out of the way by using smoke dash. He'll use smoke dash and grab her by pushing her. And, yeah. Anyway. Um... After this little incident, she begins to freak out thinking that this man is a conduit. Because she does know of conduits. It's part of the history they know. Um... And then he reasserts her that his quirk, quirk, air quotation marks, is smoke manipulation. His physical body is made of smoke, but he can change it to whatever he likes. So he's able to hold um, his physical form. She begins asking why his smoke's so red, and it's just... He says it runs on his emotions. How quickly he can react to something. Which we all know is bullshit, because I've incorporated the karma system into this. How it's gonna work is... Sorry, I'm breaking the story here. The karma system, how it's gonna work is that... You'll do certain actions which will progress that side of the thing. In this, Dilson's evil. He's straight up evil. And because I did the evil side of things. So, (laughs) yeah. Um, But he does... But he doesn't like... He's not against saving people with quirks. He hates them. He deeply hates them because they've been killing his kind. But he has to hold up a facade of them. Anyway, sorry for breaking story. Um, this would be a nice little time skip. Let's go two years later. Um, around this time, they start dating. And they've gotten really close. Mitsuki is closer to Inko in this version because they've been childhood friends. They've been friends since they were children, so babies. I'm putting them together since they were they were grown they were raised as sisters. Um and then Inko eventually gets to meet this guy named Delson. The man that saved her sister's life. Um, she's not very big on him during because of the way he dresses. He reads, uh, He just says he's originally from... Uh, I forgot where he's actually from. I think it was Alaska? No. Um...
Tre. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just looking up where he's from. A a Karmish tribe. You're a Native American tribe. So he's a Karmish. Sorry. Um, he just said he researches to go He's from America, and he's part of the a Karmish tribe. Well, he was. They're dead now. If you don't remember how the second one ends, if you go to the bad side, he says he's the only living member. Over the last couple centuries, she asks him why he came to Japan. He just says too many memories. Not all of them good, mainly being the loss of his brother. But they don't know this yet. A couple weeks have passed, and Inko is. Inko started to get a very good idea of how Delson acts, because he normally just keeps to himself. But she starts bringing him out more and more. Um, with this little advancement in her life, she find he, he tells her of her, his brother. And how he died. He died saving his life from the police force that controls the hunts down conduits. I don't remember the actual name. I'll look it up so it's ready for the next episode. But anyway, um, that's the main reason why he's such a shut-in. He doesn't like letting people in and letting know his backstory, but he doesn't tell her the complete story of it. He just says his brother saved his life from being shot. Which is total bullshit, because if you know what actually happens, you know how he actually dies, which is bullshit. Sorry. He was one of my front... He was one of my favourite characters in the game. Um, anyway... Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> if you don't know, I like to ramble. Um, I'll try and make sure that's not a regular thing, but I promise this. Um, and she understands what he goes through. Not completely, but she knows what he means. So she doesn't really bring that subject up a whole lot. Because it hasn't really been real good to him. Um... Anyway, uh, with that, another year passes, and Delson started to think of proposal because they've been together for three years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've been together for three years. He asks Mitsuki. Who he's become to. He who he has started to see as a very close friend. He does see her as a very close friend, and when something is amiss, he always goes to her to make sure that Inko is okay. 
he asked to help him set up a proposal, a way to propose to Inko. She helps him, and Inko says yes. About two, three months later, um, no, not two, three, uh, several months later, they get married by home and all that. If you don't want to know what Delson's doing, he would be doing... I wouldn't say he's a hit. Uh, he's a hero, but... He's one of those heroes that... Um, don't really like to capture people. Um, so he's... I'm going to put him as num the ranking number three hero. In this endeavor in all might, it's still one and two. Um, with this knowledge he's got, he tries to mainly only use smoke because that is his main ability, his quirk he's put down. Smoke manipulation. His costume is basically the one on the right right hand side so this but on the side he does do artwork for people let's do a bit a little bit of artwork because he is a graffiti artist um it's been a year now and Delson finds out Mitsuki ah not Mitsuki Inko is pregnant with a baby boy and with this he works twice as hard in the hero business and as a graffiti artist to provide for his little boy nine months later Inko was in hospital, and Delson was out doing hero work. He gets a phone call from the hospital saying his wife is in hospital in labor. He quickly gets there using smoke dash, and how he's also able to fly with it, kind of. You know how he hovers. Anyway, um digressing he finds out from the hospital that his wife is in labor and Mitsuki's there because Inko and Mitsuki were hanging out in this uh, Katsuki is born he's only a year old and um Oh god, my music's not playing. Sorry about that. Um, Bok uh, Katsuki Bakugo is one year old. So, th in this, they, uh, Izuku and Katsuki are going to be very, very close. However, they're going to have different perspectives on life. You'll find out why later. Um, so he arrives at the hospital seeing his wife in labor. He holds her hand and all that. He does do the little snippy snip snip of the ability cord. If you don't know what that is, that's basically your belly button. Um, Izuku is gonna have, instead of the green, he's gonna have green hair, but he's gonna have something similar to, where is it, where is it? I don't have, ooh, please signal. Let's run out of whatever. He's gonna have 
his father's, I think it's brown hair, brown or black hair with a bit of, I don't have it, do I picture of something that's on, I guess I don't, um, his bit of gray, brown and green hair, so he's going to have brown, black streaks with green, mainly being his dominant colour. Um, With this, uh, about two to three hours later, the nurse brings in little baby boy Isaku Midoriya. Delson holds his son in his arms, trying not to cry. Um, because. He wants to be strong for both his son and wife. Um, after this, Delson is asked to leave the hospital due to visiting hours being over. About a month has passed and Enko and Izuku are allowed to go home. Unfortunately, Delson is out doing hero work because he was called in for an a, for a little raid on some drug cartel. If you don't know, he's going to kill the drug cartel. All of them. For many, many reasons. Main one being the chick with neon power. Um... Anyway, uh, oops, oh, he is out doing a raid on the drug cartel. Miski picks up, picks her up, and drives her home. Now they don't. They live in the not same com uh apartment complex. They do in Canon. Well, she doesn't count it. Um, two years will pass, and little Izuku is now two years old, while Bakugo, sorry, Katsuki, is three. Around this time, Katsuki starts going to uh, prime kindergarten. Now, during this time, they are raised like brothers. Katsuki and... I think it's a Bakugo, but it's Katsuki. Bakugo is Katsuki. Katsuki and Inko are... Ra uh, not Inko, fucking Izuku are raised as brothers. If you want to know what Izuku's last name is, it would be... Izuku, if you're wondering why there's a little cut there, my phone turned off. Sorry. Um, so, where I left was, out was Izuku's last name is Izuku and Bro. The middle name being Van. I already told you why. If you don't know, um, because I probably cut it out, probably won't. Um, Inko kept her last name, but it's hyphenated, so it's gonna be Inko and Bro. 
the same for Delson. Um, two years have passed, so Izuku is two, while no, I mean, yeah, Izuku is two, and Kasi is four. So he's beginning to start to get his quirk. His quirk will be explosions. Now, Kasuki and Izuku are raised as brothers in this. So Izuku, uh, not Izuku, Kats- Katsuki is very overprotective of Izuku because he is the big brother. Um, The way Katsuki awakens his quirk is the same in kindergarten. Little explosions pop out in his hand. Goes to the quirk doctor. Says his power is explosion. Uh, let's go with two more years. And Katsuki is now... He's four. He was four. And four. He's six. Well... Izuku starts going, is four in this now. He goes to the quirk doctor, finding out that he is quirkless. Yep, he is quirkless in this. Wait, no. He will. No, no, no. What I was thinking of making having a quirk, but. Don't think I want a hybrid. No, I don't. If you want to. Inko's quirk is it's the same as canon. Um, he is quirkless. But un- unannounced to their knowledge, Izuku is a conduit. A very, very powerful conduit. He's going to have his father's conduit power, but it's going to be immensely stronger, so he's going to have all his powers, all his father's powers, right, not right off the bat, he's going to have smoke and... Neon. He tells his father that he is... Inko tells his father... Delson. Tells Delson he is... Quirkless. Delson comes home, finding his son crying. Finding out that he is... Quirkless. Um, Inko already knows that Delson, uh, Inko and Mitsuki uh, do know that Delson is a conduit. They don't really care. They know what he's like. They do search him up, but they know he's not like that these days. Because he's been, he's fucking old. It's been two to three hundred years. Um, with this knowledge, Kasi does know that his uncle Delson is a conduit, but he doesn't also get rid of a shit, because he finds it so very cool that his uncle has so many powers. Um, anyway, Izuku doesn't know his father's a conduit, but he knows of conduits, because he's very fascinated about history in this. History, drawing, and music. Um, Delson breaks tells his son that he does not have a quirk. That his father does not have a quirk. Mainly being is because he is a conduit. The main, the last, uh, not one. He's one of the remaining conduits left. Zuku is very wary of his father at first, but then realizes he's not like other conduits anymore. Um, time has passed. It's been I'm gonna do a year. So Katsuki is seven, but um, Izuku is five. One day, one day though. Um, 
the world finds out that Delson is a conduit. So, what they do is not very pretty. Um, if you're not over the age of... If you're not matured enough to know about this stuff. So, if you're not, like, 18 or anything over that. If you're very young, say, like, kid... If you're a teen, you can still watch this, but but it's going to be very, very graphic for you. So if you're not used to graphic stuff, please click away. This is your only warning. They basically, since he has conduit healing, not very much can kill him. So what they do is put him through torture. And what I mean by torture is that they zap him. They rip everything off. So they rip his toes, his fingers, fingernails, ear, some teeth. While also putting him ablaze. About several hours later, he succumbs to his injuries. While that's been going on, Miski and Katsuki have been helping Inko and Midoriya run. Because people are after his wife and son. However, something very bad does happen. Miski and Inko die. The way they died is... Not very pretty. Um, a hero actually kills them. Let's say this hero has a quirk that can manipulate the metal. So they were in a car manipulating the metal. They didn't see the two mums. They only saw Inko. So this hero decides to kill both mothers. At this time, unannounced, Izuku and Bokatsuki are able to get out of the car and see their mums die right in front of them. With this, Izuku does awaken his first conduit power. Although, mind you, it's very, very bad. He gets it through the car explosion. Yes, the car explodes. With this, his anger takes over and his first conduit power arises. The first conduit power being smoke. With this, he's he does know his father has taught him how to use his powers. Um... So, yeah, um, anyway, he kills the hero, the way he kills him is turning in the smoke, going to the hero's body, and choking him to death from the inside out. The hero dies, Katsuki is afraid of Suzuku, though not enough to leave him behind. Mainly being because his mother is dead. And he's incredibly enraged. He grab Kasuki grabs Izuku and makes a break for it. Izuku does know of his father's friends. The chick with neon and the video guy power. Izuku tells his, his big brother... Katsuki, they need to head to America to find these people.
and he does know where they are. They're in a prison. He does know their names. First, the neon chick's name is Abigail Walker. Um, Abigail Walker and Abigail Walker. I forgot the video game. Video guy's um, name is. I'm going to call him video for the time being. Sorry. Um. Anyway, sorry. They don't have money. Um. So, the way they get to America is by stowing on a ship. It's been, let's say, it takes a few months, because what the ship is carrying is a few, it's carrying some electronicals. It does have food aboard for the crew members. Katsuki and, in, uh, Katsuki and Midoriya, oh no Midoriya, thank you, I'm going to, I'm going to refer to Midoriya. Deku, because I can, can't really say his name all the time. Izuku. If you, if I refer, refer to Kazuki to Bakugo, you know what I mean. Anyway, um, they do stow away, and it's been a few months, and they've opened a few crates that people won't notice. So just some canned food. Mind you, it's not all good. They're not eating dog stuff, if you're wondering. No. It's a lot of just canned crap, sorry, spam and all that. You know, disgusting shit. Um, once they reach America, they have to hide out. But because I'm not, I'm going to say the DUP. If you're wondering what the DUP is, it's the people that hunt down conduits. Have somewhat still linger. Um, 
there are only a few members, however, because the chick that ran it is dead. She's dead. She's dead, dead. Um. Oh, wow. Um. So they start making their way, but they start hiding because they've heard rumors of the DEP. People who hunt down conduits and sell them off to the prison. Let's say... Let's say that Izuku is now... He was five. He is now... Let's say, um... He is... uh, This is going to be a very large one. He's... 10 now, so it's been 5 years. Kusky was... That five years, he is now. Six. He is eleven. They are known to the homeless people as. Known around on the streets as misfits. People who get in trouble. But they can't do anything because they don't know who their parents are. The parents are dead. Yikes. Um, with that knowledge they have, they start doing, they start doing petty thefts, so like robbery, pickpocketing, so they got money to buy food, stuff like that. Nothing major to get them thrown into jail. Um, one day the... People who don't hunt down Carnowitz. Here was someone who turns into smoke and just disappears one day. They be thinking. I start to think. Saint Delson Van Vro is back, but no, he's dead. They know that he's dead. They saw him die. On the internet, someone recorded it and posted it up on the internet. It's very, 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 very sick. If you not. If you don't make it, it, there's there's things wrong with people, honestly. Um, so they know he's dead. They must be thinking, ah, oh, must be someone with a uh, quirk. The hide Izuki hides the fact he's a conduit by saying his quirk is smoke manipulation. However, he starts to become very very dark so with all these petty thefts the karma the evil karma starts going up um let's say he's um i wouldn't say he's that yet i would say he's more of uh, i don't have it shit uh, the right hand the left hand side starts going up a bit more um so He is called a thug. Thug. No, I... I'd go criminal. So he's pretty known. So he's... 
pretty well known. And um He's a criminal in this. Mainly because the first one he did, he killed the hero. So that got him to... Fuck. With all these tests he's done and wandering, running away from the cops, tagging, and... Basically, not all the normal citizen stuff. Mainly because him and Kotsky are... not they don't have parents um he's well known for being a criminal with his brother aka Katsuki they're not real brothers he also starts changing he also starts becoming a bit more arrogant more Daring more out there. He's basically making sure his brother's fine and all that. Looking after him. Because that's what he's promised them both. Look after Izuku. Uh, whether he's not. The way that it's done is through them being together and basically. Doing criminally acts. So, yeah, um, they finally locate, after a few months, they finally locate this prison. And, um, they want to go in immediately. But in this timeline, Izuku and Katsuki are both incredibly smart. Um. So, they know where Fetch and... Where the other one is. I can't remember his name. Um, I don't know what's Fetch... A.K. If I start calling her Fetch, I mean Abigail. And um, they locate them both. Sorry, um, phone turned off again. I know the other one's power, his name is Eugene. 
for a video. So they like her, Abigail and Eugene, in the prison. However, they want to go in immediately, but they can't due to the amount of guards. In this timeline, they are both Zuku and Bakugo are incredibly smart. Around this time, uh, the fight between All Might and All For One have happened. So, yeah. Um, All Might does take his Night Eyes advice and rest. That will come to play a bit later. Um, it's the same as Airy and Overhaul. Yes, I will be including some Season 4 stuff. So, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, the only way into the prison is to announce that you are a conduit to the DUP. I think I, I, I think they're the DUP. I might be getting that wrong. Anyway, since they know, since Katsuki isn't a conduit, he will be saying he is one. Although, he does not, he does have a quirk. He just doesn't have access to it. So he's been lying and saying he's a hybrid. There are some hybrids out there in the world, but they don't have the conduit uh, power at all. They just have the gene. Anyway, um, the way they get into the prison is very unorthodoxly. So they basically start robbing places. So they rob a few convenience stores. The way they do it is that um, if you're wrong what they look like, this would be what Izuku be looking like. He'd wear his dad, he'd be, like his dad, he'd be wearing his sho the shoes, the jeans, the shirt, the jacket, and the vest, the beanie. He does not have access to the chain yet. And Izu uh, Bakugo would go something very similar, but he would only have the white jacket and the jeans with the shoes, with the shoes. Because, um, I forgot to mention this, Dalson has put them both as a comish. Even though Zu uh, Karski is not blood, he does recognise him as family. So, they're both a comish people. They're the only comish left. I guess, you could say. Anyway, um, they... Basically, start robbing and killing people left, right, and center. Till the DUP take notice. They come in and say so these. Uh, they quirk. They have quirks. One of the sergeants say, "Oh, they just have quirks." So what we brought into this, and they realize that the boy Izuku is taking in the smoke around him. And this other boy is just making explosions. He doesn't... Let's just say he writes it off as a conduit. He's a con They write it off as he's also a conduit. Conduit of explosions. With the amount going on, he can just create his own. Anyway, um... They take them both in, get them both analysed. Izuku is positive for being a conduit, but not... Is... Uh... Kassan is, he's a hybrid, he's got the gene. Although he has got a little bit of the power, he's got the healing aspect. Although the explosion is a quirk, I'm guessing. I'm going to put it down as, he's a hybrid, he's a hybrid, he's just straight hybrid. He's got the conduit healing. He just says, it's my quirk, but I am a conduit. He's got the conduit healing. So they do both take these boys into... The prison. Mind you, it's a year of planning, so Zuku is now 11 and Katsuki is now 12. They both go to the prison with these specialized cuffs on that turn off the conduit gene. But a little did they know, they forgot to put the quirk nullifying cuffs on Katsuki, which they were hoping for, which they both are very, very happy about. Anyway, they're thrown in the same cell as 
fetch and oh, fuck I forgot his name um the boy video Eugene fetch takes a look at Izuku saying he's not around from here in this timeline Izuku doesn't have manners he's like Katsuki he doesn't really give a shit about other people Except for his brother. Izuku does know what Fetch looks like. So she does have the pink hair and everything. Like she does in the video game. He asks if her name is Abigail Walker. To her surprise, she says yes. With that, Izuku starts grinning. She asks how uh, Abigail Walker and... Oh my god, I forgot his name already. Video guy. They both look at him surprised, saying, how do you know our names? Eugene, fucking hell, I need to write... write. Eugene, Eugene, Eugene. Okay, I've got it. Fetch and Eugene look at Zuku extremely surprised, saying, how do you know our names? He says he is Dalson's son. They look at each other in complete and utter surprise because they thought Dalson was dead. He has told them that his father is dead, yes, but he was killed by quirk users and quirkless people. Even though he's the number three hero. Um, they look at Izuku. And Izuku is extremely sad by this. The same as Katsuki. Because he lost his uncle, um, his father. His father is dead, by the way. Um, sorry, I forgot to mention that. His father tried helping Delson and in the end got killed. Um, yeah, uh, so, um, they start apologizing, saying, sorry, we didn't mean to make you sad. He's like, it's fine, I got, I do have my father's powers, though. However, he does need video and... Neon. This is how he's going to get video and neon. The same as concrete. So there is a someone from the DP in that prison that has concrete. Like a natural born co- uh, conduit power called concrete. Um. Anyway, they asked us how they're going to get out. Um. To their disbelief, Kaski is a hybrid. He explains. Kasi explains to Fetch and Eugene that he's a hybrid. He has a quirk, and they did not put quirk nullifying the quirk nullifying handcuffs on just the conduit ones. So he explodes, taking off the cuffs, explodes. He gets rid of Izuku's, Fetch's, and Eugene's. They give him their powers. They see everything he... He sees everything for both. They also see everything that has happened to him. So they understand. Um, with this, they actually get out of the prison to start a conduit riot. So they start killing every guard they see. With this... Izuku starts using a gun. He doesn't know how to use it, but he starts learning how to. Because he doesn't have his chain yet. He uses a gun to kill a bunch of guards. Takes a bunch of conduit powers. Um, I must say, he does get concrete now. Video, neon. He's also got... Paper. Till they arrive... 
solitary. There are some very powerful conduits in here. So one's got can turn invisible, one's got glass, and one's got music. He takes their powers. Um, in this prison, Cole McGrath is alive, but he is in a tube. Those, you know, those sci-fi tubes, the ones that have, like, water and gas, uh, oxygen mask and that on. They release him. They look at him. He's, so, the way that, um, he looks now is, he does have the beast's powers, but he's, oh shit, he looks like this. Um, they ask what his name is, and they say, he says, Cole McGrath. The legendary Cole McGrath. Although he's very close to death in this, however. He looks at Zuku going, you are a conduit. He goes, yes, I'm able to use, take, and use other conduit powers at will, but they still keep their own. The what happens is that Zuku... Uh, Cole gives Zuku his electrical, his electricity conduit. But the thing is, it's not just that. He says, thank you. And it says, I will also give you the other conduit power I have. The beast's power. So what it basically is, is he's able to make other conduits. Oh wait, he won't use it to make conduits. He will, he will use it to make conduits, but we use it mainly to kill people. Anyway. Um, he does this, but Cole McCraft does live. I know he said he was dying, but the reason he was dying was due to the beast's powers. He gives the beast's powers to Zuku. He does have access to him, but very little. Um, then, Cole McGrath is fine. However, he still does look like this. His evil version self. So. Says, instead of running and going his separate way, he joins Fetch and Eugene, Katsuki, Deku, and they make, they become, afterwards, they do escape the prison with all the other conduits. And they all go their separate ways. Zuku, Katsuki, Fetch, Eugene, and Cole do go underground. Let's say some time has passed. So let's go with 10. Let's go with Katsuki being 15, Zuku being. 14 to the beginning of the anime. So time has passed, and Deku has complete... He does have control over smoke, electricity, neon. No, I'm going to make him a power. He has control over all the conduit powers that he's got access to. As well as being a highly wanted man. Instead of being a criminal, he is most wanted now. Karma system. Fun. Um, anyway. His powers are very incredibly, incredibly strong. They don't have any drawbacks on his body. Um, with this, they start making a plan to leave America and go back to Japan. Um... The way they do this, though, is they steal a ship. People do want to know where these people are, so they are highly wanted. Because they do create a lot of havoc. With Fetch teaching Izuku how to mark and start marking his stuff with neon and smoke. He does that a lot. It's one of his favorite pastimes. 
as well as listening to music. Well, Kuski is also doing the same, but he's, but they both know parkour. They're very efficient at parkour. Sorry. Um, because Cole starts training them in hand-to-hand combat and parkour. Um, in this, Bucko does have something vim- very similar to his gauntlets. Um, I don't think of a picture of it. No. Oh, this is what, uh, Bucko wears. If he's in, like, in a meeting for villains, same as Bazooku. Anyway, back to the story. Um, but he does, they do look like this most of the time. Um, so, okay. I'm actually going to leave it off here. And I will pick it up t- later today so I can make another video. Um, so, yeah. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And, uh, yeah.